bitter in the mouths of people? That's people development, that's private sector development.
Welcome to Magdalena Grand Beach and Gulf Resort. Your safety is Welcome to Magdalena Grand Beach and Gulf Resort. Your safety is important to us. Therefore, it's essential that you are aware of our emergency procedures. In the event of an emergency and you are required to evacuate the building, please do not panic. There are four emergency exits on your right, two at the back of the stage and two through the doors which you entered. All of these emergency exits will take you out of the building into the muster point via the car park. Kindly move in an orderly manner to the exits. Turn the door handle downwards and push outwards. Make a left turn and proceed to the muster point. Once there, await further instructions from either security personnel or hotel management.
Good morning. Guests are kindly asked to switch all cell phones off at this time. Thank you.
please stand for the arrival of Her Excellency Paula May Weeks, ORTT, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. Please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem. I now invite Dr. Ellis Boris of the Inter Interreligious Organization to offer prayer. Blessed is the spot and the house and the place, and the city and the heart and the mountain and the refuge, and the valley and the land and the sea and the island and the meadows, where mention of God had been made and his praise glorified. We pray now for the assembly protection. In the name of God, the Lord of overpowering majesty, the all compelling. Hallowed be the Lord in whose hand is the source of dominion. He created whatsoever he will let by his word command be and it is. His has been the power of authority heretofore, and it shall remain his hereafter. He maketh victorious whomsoever he pleaseth, to the potency of his behest. He is in truth the powerful, the almighty. Unto him pertaineth all glory and majesty in the kingdom of creation and revelation, and whatever light between them. Verily, he is the potent, the all glorious. For everlasting, he has been the source of indomitable strength and shall remain so unto everlasting. He is indeed the Lord of might and power. All the kingdoms of heaven and earth and whatsoever is between them are God's, and his power is supreme over all things. All the treasures of the earth and heaven and, what, and everything between them are his, and his protection extended over all things. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth, and whatever light between them. And he truly is a witness over all things. He is the Lord of reckoning for all that dwell in the heavens and on earth, and whatever light between them. And truly, God is swift to reckon. 
He set the measures assigned to all who are in heaven and earth and whatever is between them. Verily, he is the supreme protector. He holdeth in his grasp the keys of heaven and earth and everything between them. At his own pleasure, doeth he bestow gifts to the poor of his command. Indeed, his grace encompasses all. He is the all-knowing. Say, God is sufficient unto me. He is the one who holdeth in his grasp the kingdom of all things to the power of the host of heaven and earth and whatever light between them. He protecteth whomsoever among his servant he willeth. God in truth keepeth watch over all things. Immeasurably exalted art thou, O Lord. Protect us from what lie in front of us and behind us, above our heads, on our right, on our left, below our feet, and every side to which we are exposed, verily thy protection of all things is unfeeling. May the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. I thank you. Thank you, Dr. Boris. Your Excellency, Paula May Weeks, ORTT, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and Commanding Chief of the Armed Forces. Dr. The Honorable Keith Christopher Rowley, Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, and Mrs. Sharon Rowley. The Honorable the Chief Justice, Mr. Justice Ivor Archie, and Mrs. Denise Rodriguez Archie. Good morning. In accordance with Section 5 of the Tobago House of Assembly Act, Chapter 2503, the Assembly shall be a body corporate and consist of 15 Assemblymen elected at an election held in accordance with the Representation of the People Act. Oh, my apologies, please be seated. Section 6 provides that the President shall administer to the Assemblymen at a meeting held for the purpose of this section no later than three days after the date of the primary election or as soon thereafter as the President may consider practicable the oath of office. Therefore, I now invite the elected members in alphabetical order who will form the Tobago House of Assembly to take their oaths of office before Her Excellency Paula May Weeks, ORTT, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. We are here to administer the oath of office to 15 assemblymen who have been elected to the Tobago House of Assembly Assemblymen being sworn are kindly asked to raise their right hand and take the oath. Mr. Farley Chavez Augustine, the representative of the electoral district of Palatuve Lansomi, Speyside, was involved in journalism as an opinion editorial writer for the now defunct Tobago News and a regular talk show host for Tobago Channel 5. Mr. Augustine has also been an educator teaching for seven years. He is the holder of tertiary level education certification in linguistics and international relations. I now invite Mr. Farley Chavez Augustine to be sworn in. Mr. Augustine, sir. I, Farley Chavez Augustine, having been elected an assemblyman for Tobago, do solemnly affirm that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago, will uphold the Constitution and the law, and will conscientiously and impartially discharge the duties and responsibilities of assemblyman that I am now about to assume. Thank you, sir. You're invited to return to your seat. <laughs> Dr. Faith B. Israel, the representative of the Electoral District of Bell Garden Glamorgan, is a life skills facilitator and writes a weekly health and wellness column for the, for the News Day Tobago. She has lectured at various tertiary level education uh, institutions sorry, in the areas of environmental health, occupational safety and health, 
psychology, and public health. Dr. Israel founded the Imani Bet Nazat Foundation, a non-governmental organization that works closely with special communities, including people living with HIV. Dr. Israel holds a Doctor of Public Health degree in Behavioral and Community Health Sciences, a Master of Public Health degree, and a Bachelor of Science degree in Neuroscience. I now invite Dr. Faith B. Israel to be sworn in. Dr. Israel, ma'am. I, Faith B. Israel, having been elected an assemblyman for Tobago, do solemnly affirm that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago, will uphold the Constitution and the law, and will conscientiously and impartially discharge the duties and responsibilities of assemblyman that I am now about to assume. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Pastor Terence Beans, the representative of the electoral district of Bethel Newgrange, has been a minister of religion for the past 33 years. His education began at Teacher Sarah's Preschool in Bethel, then to the Montgomery Government School, Bishop's High School, then finally the West Indies School of Theology, where he was certified as a minister. I now invite Pastor Terence Baines to be sworn in. Pastor Baines, sir. I, Terence Baines, having been elected an assemblyman for Tobago, do soil me swear and I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago, will uphold the Constitution and the law, and will conscientiously and impartially discharge the duties and responsibilities of assemblyman that I am now about to assume. Thank you, sir. Mrs. Natisha Charles Pantin, the representative of the electoral district of Bagatelle Bacolet, has been an employee of the Tobago House of Assembly attached to the Department of Natural Resources and Forestry for 17 years. She's also attached to the education unit where she has worked with schools, community groups, churches, and non-governmental organizations. She has contributed towards the development of educational material at a national and local level which are currently being used for the advancement of the department's mandate. Mrs. Charles Pantin holds a master's degree in public health and a bachelor of science degree in ecological sciences forestry. I now invite Mrs. Natisha Charles Pantin to be sworn in. Mrs. Pantin, ma'am. I, Natasha Charles Pantin, having been elected as Assemblyman for Tobago, do solemnly affirm that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago, will uphold the Constitution and the law, and will conscientiously and impartially discharge the duties and responsibilities of Assemblyman that I am now about to assume. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Mr. Wayne Clark, the representative of the electoral district of Lambo Lowlands, 
distinguished himself as a champion footballer. On his retirement as a football player, he pursued coaching roles which involved coaching the youth. Mr. Clark's passion for working with children inspired him to found both the Lambo Youth Foundation and the Tobago Early Childhood Games. Mr. Clark is the holder of a C-Class coaching license from CONCACAF. I now invite Mr. Wayne Clark to be sworn in. Mr. Clark, sir. I, Wayne Clark, having been elected an assemblyman for Tobago, do solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago, will uphold the Constitution and the law, and will conscientiously and impartially discharge the duties and responsibilities of assemblyman that I am now about to assume. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mr. Sonny Craig, the representative of the electoral district of Boku, Mount Pleasant, has a vast number of experiences. He spent 13 years employed at the telecommunications services of Trinidad and Tobago, and also enrolled as a lifesaver in the Tobago House of Assembly Tourist Board's lifeguard service, where he served for two years. Thereafter, he moved on to becoming a successful entrepreneur. He has been involved in the performing arts for most of his life and is an active member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. I now invite Mr. Sonny Craig to be sworn in. Mr. Craig, sir. I, Sonny Craig, having been elected as an assemblyman for Tobago, do solemnly affirm that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago, will uphold the Constitution and the law, and will conscientiously and impartially discharge the duties and responsibilities of assemblyman that I am now about to assume. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mr. Watson Solomon Duke, the representative of the electoral district of Roxborough, Argyle, is the president of the National Trade Union Center of Trinidad and Tobago, the president of the Public Service Association, and founder and leader of the Progressive Democratic Patriot. Mr. Duke holds a Master of Laws degree in Employment Law. He receives skills and tertiary-level tertiary training at the Metal Industries Company Limited Institute of Technology, followed by training in quality technology, pay and equity, and public sector reform. I now invite Mr. Watson Duke to be sworn in. Mr. Duke, sir. I, Watson Solomon Duke, have. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> I, Watson Solomon Duke, having been elected as an assemblyman for Tobago, do solemnly affirm that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Tobago and Trinidad and uphold the Constitution and the law and will conscientiously 
and impartially discharge the duties and responsibilities of the assembly man that I know that I am now about to assume. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mr. Niall George, the representative of the Electoral District of Plymouth, Blackrock, was employed at the Water and Sewage Authority as a, plant, as a process plant operator. Mr. George achieved secondary level education certificate at both ordinary and advanced levels, then furthered his studies at tertiary level in civil engineering. I now invite Mr. Niall George to be sworn in. Mr. George, sir. I, Niall George, having been elected an assemblyman for Tobago, do solemnly affirm that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago, will uphold the constitution and the law, and will conscientiously and impartially discharge the duties and responsibilities of assemblyman that I am now about to assume. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Ms. Zorisha Hackett, the representative of the Electoral District of Bethesda, Lekuto, is an English teacher who has taught at Scarborough Secondary School for nine years. During this time, she received the coveted Youth Mentor Award from the Department of Youth Affairs and Sport of the Tobago House of Assembly. Ms. Hackett holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in English Language and Literature from the University of the West Indies. She is currently pursuing postgraduate studies in the field of political science. I now invite Ms. Zorisha Hackett to be sworn in. Ms. Hackett, ma'am. Zorisha Amina Hackett, having been elected an assemblyman for Tobago, do solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago, will uphold the constitution and the law, and will conscientiously and impartially discharge the duties and responsibilities of assemblyman that I am now about to assume. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Mr. Trevor James, the representative of the electoral district of Scarborough, Mount Grace, has worked at various levels in the public and private sectors of Trinidad and Tobago. He is the first to bring light gauge steel manufacturing and construction to Tobago. Mr. James holds a Master of Science degree in construction and project management. I now invite Mr. Trevor James to be sworn in. Mr. James, sir. I, Trevor Williamson James, having been elected an assemblyman for Tobago, do solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago, 
will uphold the Constitution and the law and will conscientiously and impartially discharge the duties and responsibilities of Assemblymen that I am now about to assume. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mr. Kelvon Morris, the representative of the Electoral District of Darrell Spring Wim, is the owner of Hampson Enterprises and Investments and a public affairs officer in the Division of Health, Wellness, and Family Development. He possesses a wide range of experiences in the public sector and has served as director on various boards. Mr. Morris holds a Master of Arts degree in International Relations and World Order and a Bachelor of Science degree in Sociology. I now invite Mr. Kelvin Morris to be sworn in. Mr. Morris, sir. I, Kelvin Morris, Having been elected an assemblyman for Tobago, do solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago, will uphold the Constitution and the law, and will conscientiously and impartially discharge the duties and responsibilities of assemblyman that I am now about to assume. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Ms. Megan Morrison, the representative of the Electoral District of Mount St. George Goodwood, is a managing director of a small contracting company and is one of the most accomplished chaperones of Queens in Tobago. Ms. Morrison has been employed at the Tobago House of Assembly for the past 21 years. She is heavily involved in both cultural and community service and works with various community groups. She is the holder of a Master of Business Administration degree with a specialization in marketing management, an associate degree in hospitality studies, and a certificate in advanced practical accounting. I now invite Ms. Megan Morrison to be sworn in. Ms. Morrison, ma'am. I, Megan Morrison, having been elected an assemblyman for Tobago, do solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago, will uphold the Constitution and the law, and will conscientiously and impartially discharge the duties and responsibilities of assemblyman. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Mr. Ian Pollard, the representative of the Electoral District of Mason Hall, Mariah, has been active, actively involved as a football coach in his community and in finance. He is currently pursuing a Master of Science degree in project management. I now invite Mr. Ian Pollard to be sworn in. Mr. Pollard, sir. I, Ian Pollard, having been elected an assemblyman for Tobago, do solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago, will uphold the Constitution and the law, and will conscientiously and impartially discharge, discharge the duties and responsibilities of, of Assemblyman that I am now about to assume.
Mr. Joel Sampson, the representative of the Electoral District of Bonacord Crown Point, is currently employed in the Operations Department of the Water and Sewage Authority. He is a president. In 2016, he represented the Union at the Caribbean Public Service Conference. Mr. Sampson holds a Craftsman Certificate in Pipe Laying and a Certificate in Supervisory Management. I now invite Mr. Joel Sampson to be sworn in. Mr. Sampson, sir. I, Joel Sampson, having been elected an assemblyman for Tobago, do solemnly affirm that I will bear true faith and allegiance to Trinidad and Tobago, will uphold the Constitution and the law, and will, con and will conscientiously and impartially discharge the duties and responsibilities of assemblyman that I am now about to assume. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mr. Nigel Tate, the representative. I now invite Mr. Nigel Tate to be sworn in. Mr. Tate, sir. I, Nigel Tate, having been elected an assemblyman for Tobago, do solemnly swear that I will discharge the duties and responsibilities of assemblyman that I am now about to assume. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Chief of the Armed Forces will now witness the oath. Your Excellency. Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Chief Justice, Chief of Defense, staff, members of the Tobago House of Assembly, all the members of the Tobago House of Assembly that took their oaths of office this morning. Please be seated. In usual times, this ceremony would have been witnessed of the assemblymen. But we are all familiar with the dictates of the COVID-19 restrictions. And today, they limit the assemblymen to one guest. But never mind, assemblymen, because I am certain 
that each of your guests has come here. I hope that the limited number in no way detracts from what should be the joy and awe of the undertaking into which you have entered this morning. The work has now started. You have a long and perhaps arduous road ahead. Get the job done. May all your endeavors meet with success, and I wish you well. Please stand for the departure of Excellency Paula Mary.